What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. We still trucking in Jays. I'm Devin. Um, today I'm getting ready to uh, pick up in CAE one, going to Atlanta. Hold on, let me introduce the girls. It's Big Bertha, old Betsy. First thing first, taxi 12s today. I don't about mess these up, but hey, I'm trucking in Jays. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh. Big Bertha warmed up while I get ready to me back up a little bit. Get her warmed up while we go ahead and get ready to take this trip. Hey, it's, it's peak season, man. I hope y'all up. I'm getting ready to get some of this money out here. If you booking loads for anything less than 350 a mile at this point, you're losing. You're costing yourself money. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Go ahead and get the infamous Big Bertha warmed up. All right, but yeah, man, it's, it's peak season, man. We've been getting some good loads out of uh, CAE one recently. Let me close this door. Yeah, so we've been getting some good loads out of CAE one. Nothing less than 350 a mile. Um, so when you're doing your postal truck, man, I wouldn't do it. Nothing less than 350 a mile. Um, and even way more than that if it's a if it's a uh, post office route because you know of course you gotta you definitely come back empty with that um but yeah i'm just taking y'all along with me today i just wanted to go ahead and intro this video and i check y'all once i get there all right we're still getting big bertha warmed up right now just want to show y'all this uh this load i got uh hopefully you can see that let me see Anyway, uh, CAE1, the MGE8, 227 miles, uh, $3.70 a mile, so total $843. So, um, not bad. I've seen some going for more than that. Um, I actually set my postal truck to, to $350 the other day, and they they booked it for $450, um, $450 a mile. So, yep, so, I mean, you're going to get some, get some good ones, and then you'll get some real good ones. But, well, hopefully they don't cancel this one like they canceled the other one that was 450 a mile. So I'll let y'all know once I get to the um, to the yard there. But yeah, man, I'm just I'm just excited, man. Happy about the day, man. Blessed to be alive. Um, blessed to book another load. Because that's the exciting part, man, getting the loads, especially when it's, uh, you know, good money. So, but yeah, hopefully they, they don't cancel it. But yeah, everything just been going my way this morning. My daughter gave me about three or four kisses before she went to school, so... Hey, I'm winning. So, as long as they don't cancel this load, um, it's going to be a good day. I'll holler at y'all in a few. All right, man. So, we're about to pull up at the uh, facility now. Let's see if we're going to actually be able to take this load or if they're going to cancel it on me like they did yesterday. Um, we're going we're gonna to see here in just a minute. And what I was told before, or what I was told yesterday, they said that they had, of course, booked a 53-foot truck and a, uh, a box truck. Of course, the box truck would take the box truck would take whatever is left from, you know, that couldn't fit on the 53-foot. But yesterday, they didn't even have enough to, to fill up the 53-foot uh, drive van. So that's why they ended up canceling my load. So um, I've been seeing an increase in the freight with peak season as far as the loads. Um, the Amazon's still trying to get away with these cheap rates. So... If you're booking your loads in advance, too far in advance, um, you're leaving money on the table. So, so definitely you want to get to put a postal truck in, have a minimum that you're willing to accept, and you know you can actually run for that amount and make a profit. Or, you know, you want to go ahead and wait and see what comes up and try to get some last-minute loads. Or, uh, you'll see those you'll see the loads start to increase, man. So, the, so that's the key with Amazon. You don't want to book too far in advance unless it's at a good rate. If it's at a good rate, go ahead and book it. But you see it, man, they, in our area here, um, Columbia, Charlotte area, it's um, like $1.40 a mile, $1.47. I mean, they, and they'll, they'll try to get, get you to book it for that. But um, what you'll do the, you may do that once or twice, but you'll see, uh, you start seeing those good loads and you start ignoring the other stuff. So, we, uh, so that's what we've been doing. So I'm still waiting, so I'm just kind of, 
Still don't know if this is going to be a real load yet, <laughs> but I will let you know. This this is what's going to come back. It's going to come up on your phone when you get to the yard. And you want to get them either the last three or last four. Depends on the uh, facility. So we're going to see here in just a second. If you're new to the channel, man, if you're first time checking out the video, go ahead and subscribe, man. We got some good videos coming. I want to show you the best way to do a poster truck. Uh, get the most bang for your buck and make sure you don't, you're not getting high rates but low miles. So stay tuned for that. What's going on? How you doing? I got CFVG. So we in there. Going to 118. Alright, so that's good. Let y'all see this real quick. I've been I've been on the on the road for about about two hours or so. 
and I leave Amazon they ain't even closed my gate down the only reason I knew the only reason I knew is because one of the uh, my fellow truck drivers let me know that the gate that the gate was up so I'm riding on the interstate going 70 69 70 the whole way and people at Amazon even closed my damn gate my uh, door down so, all right man let me go ahead and close this down <laughs> and I'm gonna check back in with y'all once I get the MGEA yo well I, I take that back maybe they thought they closed it because I got a seal but they must not have latched this part so unless unless it was bouncing that much that it took that off which I don't see that happening so let me go ahead and see if I can get this latched on without without breaking the seal or, or what let me see what I can do yeah, it, it ain't no way no way that they close it all the way and it bounced and it bounced that much to to get off so I'm gonna have to try to cut this seal some kind of way and see what I got I do have my little toolbox so all right I, I check back in with y'all in a few I'm gonna try to see what I can do man all right man so I I had to use my uh my, my tools to go ahead and, and break this seal so it's safe tapper evident I wonder if I wonder if Amazon gonna call me or if they really keep track of when the seal is cut but yeah you had one job had one job all you had to do is close the gate and put the seal on and you couldn't even do that so I had to stop on the side of the road take the seal off and close my gate I mean to close my door that's crazy man but about to get back on the road. I'll holler at y'all in a few. All right, I'm, I'm back on the road now. Moral of the story is check your gate before you leave. Because ultimately, that, I guess that would be my fault because um, if something would have flew out and hit, hit another driver or hit somebody's car or if I'd have got pulled over by DOT, went to a weight station, anything like that, they don't they don't care nothing about who, who loaded you up. Um, it was my responsibility to check, but Damn, Amazon. All right, man. All right, y'all. So I made it to MGE8. I'm going to go ahead and I know I got to go to the um, to the front entrance and get me a, uh, get my badge updated so I can get in the building. And then I'll holler at y'all from there. I'll let y'all know how, to, how it went on the inside. Yeah. Then I'm going to look and see if Your I can Your destination find is on the left. I know that. I'm gonna look and see if I can find me something. Pick it up soon here. Um, if not, everything else I saw was kind of like post office routes. I'm gonna get me something to eat. And then uh, if I get something else, I'll update you from there. If not, man, I really appreciate y'all um, you know, tapping into the channel. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and just keep up with us man uh any any requests for certain content that you're missing that you want to know more about definitely let us know and, uh, and we'll go from there all right man till the next time trucking and jays peace yo i just wanted to let y'all know man um this mge8 i didn't recognize it when i booked the load but this is one of the first few loads man me and nick we did these together we, we came here probably about three three times and then I had another, at least another one that I did by myself after that. So these were some of our first loads, man. It was, uh, but we was doing them for pennies. So anytime you watching these videos and you you always hear us say, don't take these cheap loads, don't do it. We done did it. So the whole point of these, this channel, like I said in the uh, previous video, is to, we made, we made some mistakes that we want y'all to avoid, help you kind of uh, know better. So we didn't, you know, we didn't know better. We. We felt like it was cheap, but we we recognized it. We was like, okay, this is all they showing us. So let's go ahead and take what we can get to get the, the wheels moving. But if you hold out, man, you can get some good paying loads for your first load, especially if you start now in peak season. Um, but yeah, man, go ahead and, and guess what? We would take these loads and guess what they kept showing us? More cheap loads. It's like, oh, you like cheap stuff? Here you go. Take these cheap loads for us. But uh, of course we didn't book any more than after we had them booked out the week with these cheap loads. But 
Yep, MGE8, man, they took good care of me. I knew they knew what they was doing with the badge, so they uh, go ahead and went ahead and hooked me up with that. Because when we first came here, we we had to get a temporary badge, so it's been that long. But yep, but for real, for real, this is gonna be the end of the video, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe, man. We got a lot of good stuff coming. Um, I've been having an issue with Big Bertha with the uh, air governor. So um, next video, I'll show you how to, you know, where that's located, how to adjust it, and you know, change it if you need to, because we, we changed it, but I don't think that's where the issue was. But that's gonna be the next video, man. Stay tuned, subscribe, man. We got a lot of good stuff coming. Um, you know, if you got any um, recommendations, things that you have issues with, questions, once again, the email is truckingandjays at gmail.com. Man, feel free to hit us up with answer any questions you got for us. Um, until next time, that's gonna be the end of the video. Peace. Yo, 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 I'm back. I know, man, every, every time I end the video, I'm, I'm still looking for loads and I never go straight home. So <laughs> I was looking at the load board and I ended up getting the load coming back. Well, picking up in uh, Appleton, Georgia, going to Augusta, Georgia, 17 miles for $231. So I, I couldn't pass that up. I got to pass through Augusta. I got to pass these places anyway. So at least that's the gas money for, for the trip today. But I'm going to keep y'all updated on how this goes. It should be quick and easy, but if not, I'll let you know. Alright y'all, so I made it to AGS5, hit a pickup, take this load to 17 miles up the street to Augusta. Uh, I'm going to look at the board after I get there, after I drop it off, see if they may have something else quick that I can take on the way to the house. But uh, this is the, the new facility, I don't know if I uh, showed y'all showed y'all this before, but this is uh, AGS5 and right up the street is uh, AGS1. So um, both of these new facilities here in Appling, Georgia. But yeah, I'm next in line to, to uh, get my dock door and I'm gonna go ahead and load up. Hopefully it ain't, ain't, ain't too much. That way I can load up real quick and drop it off real quick and try to make it back. But I, I keep y'all updated. All right, so I'm loaded up, getting ready to head out. Um, 23 minutes away, 17 miles. That is going in the direction of Columbia, um, South Carolina. So I'm still headed home. I'm gonna look on the board a little bit before I, you know, after I drop this off, just to make sure there ain't nothing else quick like this that I can go ahead and uh, take advantage of. But um, I'm gonna let y'all know once I get to the post office, man. Um, one thing I noticed about, noticed about this facility is they don't quite do things like the other ones. Like um, one thing that they did, which it didn't really matter to me because it was less things that I had to scan, but the individual boxes, here they had it all in one like in one of those carts and they had a, a sticker on the outside which it wasn't like that the last time I came so I guess that's something new that they trying so I'm so if it's like that I didn't check the address on each one of the boxes to make sure it was going in a certain spot I just scanned the outside like the guy told me to do or got that sticker and then I loaded all those boxes up so I had uh, 18 total scans so that's seven pallets 11 11 loose boxes so Hey, less for me to scan in and less to scan out, so I'm with it. If they in the wrong spot, I ain't got nothing to do with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get down this road, man. And we'll see how I go at the post office. Um, shit, I shouldn't have to wait around. Uh, looks like I need to be there by 6:30, so um, I'll be early. But it should be, I, I should be able to uh, go right to the dock and unload. We'll see how I go. All right, so. Uh, reached my destination to the post office big dock I don't have to worry about no problems with unloading looks like I can go straight to the door from the dock so that's a plus For real, that's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, you can take the ending that I did earlier, the outro, and everything still applies. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Uh, stay locked in with us. We're gonna uh, show y'all the way. Until next time, peace.